Hi, in this example, we're going to be solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. We can't use our calculator for this one because we don't have numeric values for a, b and c. And so this is an example of why it's important that you still need to be able to apply the quadratic formula and you can't always rely on your calculator. So we have x squared equals 10kx minus 21k squared. First of all, I'm going to make it equal zero by moving all of the terms over to one side. That would give me zero equals x squared minus 10kx plus 21k squared. Now I'm going to apply the quadratic formula. I get x equals minus b. b is minus 10k. So that gives me 10k plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 10k squared, minus 4, lots of a, which is 1, times c, which is 21k squared. All divided by 2a, which is 2. Let's tidy this up a little bit. We'll keep the 10k on the outside. Inside the square root, we have minus 10k squared. When we square a negative, it will be positive. So that will become 100k squared. Over here, we have 4 times 1 times 21, which gives us 84k squared. So if we do 100k squared, take 84k squared, we get left with 16k squared. Well, that's nice and convenient because we can square root that. The square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of k squared is k. So we get x equals 10k plus or minus 4k, all divided by 2. This gives us two solutions. The first one where we use the plus, we get 10k plus 4k is 14k. Divided by 2, we get 7k. Or if we use the minus, we get 10k minus 4k is 6k. Divided by 2 gives us 3k. OK, here's a similar problem for you to try for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution then. Well done if you got it right, that was a tough question. Don't worry if you didn't, I'll go through my solution now. OK, so we have x squared minus 2px equals 8p squared. Subtracting 8p squared from both sides gives us x squared minus 2px minus 8p squared equals 0. Applying the quadratic formula, we get x equals minus b. b is already negative, so that makes it 2p plus or minus the square root of b squared, so minus 2p squared, minus 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 8p squared. All divided by 2a, which is 2. Let's tidy up the square root a bit. We've got minus 2p squared, that gives us 4p squared. And then the second term, 4 times 1 times 8 is 32. We've got a negative times a negative, so it's positive. So we've got 32p squared plus 4p squared, which is 36p squared. Divided by 2. The square of 36p squared is just 6p. So we get x equals 2p plus or minus 6p over 2. If we do it with the plus first, we get 2p plus 6p is 8p divided by 2, which gives us x equals 4p. If we do it with the minus, we get 2p minus 6p, which is minus 4p divided by 2, gives me x equals minus 2p.